Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how you can save the world by doing very little actually. You probably got a computer or a phone because it's 2015 and there's a chance you care about technology because you're at CNET. Anyway, you can volunteer some of that spare processing power for the greater good. First up, download Bow Inc. Manager. Oh, Bow Inc. stands for Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing. The app is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. It's an open source software for volunteer computing and many different projects are built on it. When you open up Bow Inc. Manager, you'll see this window where you can add a project. The first one I want to spotlight is the Rosetta at Home project. It's run by the University of Washington and it models new proteins to take on diseases like Alzheimer's, cancer, HIV, and malaria. Select Rosetta at Home from the manager and then set up an account. The next time you're not using your computer, Rosetta at Home will run and help a great cause. What happens is thousands of computers are working as one. By aggregating the power of these separate machines, progress can be made on these projects a lot faster. What about your machine? Will it get slowed down by Bow Inc. projects? No. On a computer, Bow Inc. is installed as a screensaver, so when your machine's not busy, it'll run. Bow Inc.'s requirements are also pretty low. You can use a Windows machine with a 500 MHz processor. Macs only need to be a PowerPC G3 or higher. You can also run some of these projects on an Android device. The setup's similar. Install the Bow Inc. app and select a project. This time, let's search for extraterrestrial life with SETI at home. It searches through data from a radio telescope to find signs of life. Millions of people are a part of SETI at home right now. Maybe your machine is the tipping point to finding aliens. These are just two of the projects you can contribute to. Here's some more that use Bow Inc. Check out Mind Modeling at Home, which tries to make sense of the human mind or World Community Grid, where you can take on a number of sub-projects, including mapping cancer markers, making solar technology more efficient, and decoding genomes from a wide variety of organisms. And there you have it. How to make your world a better place by being generous with your processor. For more how-tos like this, check out howto.cnet.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you next time.